Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Colu TV. First and foremost, on behalf of myself and everyone here at the club, we'd like to wish each and every one of you a very happy new year. It's our match day show as we take on Swindon Town in our first match of 2023. Hope you all had a good evening, but are now ready for some New Year's Day football. If you're here, uh, you can head out in about 20 minutes after the show. But if you're not, of course, you can watch it on iFollow for just £10. So after the show, head across and you can watch the game live. Not the result we wanted against AFC Wimbledon, but we'll learn from it and move on. Let's take a look at the match action and hear from the head coach afterwards. Matt, we talked about fine margins quite often this season. Tonight's game certainly uh, one of that. It could have gone either way. Yeah, um, certainly. I've just spoken outside to the press about, you know, we're 1 0 up and, and John hits the post and rolls along sort of the goal line. So, but for the Whitford post, we go 2 0 up and, um, you know, you'd think, like to think we were confident in the game at that point. But we're really disappointed to concede the goals in the manner that we did. Two restarts, one from a free kick, one from a throw in. And we've worked a lot on. On defensive set piece situations and we just switch off we turn our backs allow them to take a quick free kick and for you know it's in the back of our net um so we're really really bitterly disappointed about that and gregor's i'm really you know sort of pleased that the boys then reacted and we had one cleared off the line we could have taken a point at the end so we we're still creating chances um so obviously we're we're bitterly disappointed not taking a point from the game and in the first half it looked really cagey between two sides that were competitive with each other and they looked look what quite a combative game and your tackles going in a few yellow cards that we thought were a little bit harsh but mm. then in the second half it seemed much more open was that deliberate ploy on your part no i think it's just sometimes the way the game goes first half so usually quite like you say a little bit cagey and um the game didn't quite settle till the second half sometimes it takes 20 25 minutes for the early sort of enthusiasm of the game to sort of go into a bit more of a pattern but tonight it took a little bit longer maybe the two stars of the teams just the way it went um so we were pleased that the message at half time was that we wanted to go and attack them second half. We knew the game would settle a little bit. We wanted to get Scoosy in the game um, and try and pass through him a bit a bit more. Um, but I thought the front two took the carried it carried the fight second half. I thought John and, and Sampson again at half time I asked for a little bit more from them because I thought that they weren't quite able to get in the game enough for us first half. And uh and the pair of them were, were were brilliant second half and you know, Sampson done great for the for the penalty. John tucked it away, but unfortunately sort of they ran out of and that gas second half after playing twice in, in three days. So yeah, um, 
it took a little while for the game to settle tonight, but we took the game to them second half, and like you say, but for the Whitford post, we'd have gone 2-0. Yeah. And that that effort that the, not just Samson and uh, John Akinde put in, but the whole team, does that play now on what you do on Sunday or what you do actually in between today and Sunday? Yeah, I think it's always, um, we obviously set out our plan for the week before we even entered the games. We wanted to make the decisions with unemotional um, eyes on it. Um, so we've had the plan set out. We'll be in tomorrow preparing, ready for Sunday. The boys need to cool down and warm down and, and get the energy back as quickly as they possibly can. Um, and we'll have to choose a, a team that we believe has got the energy to go and take the game on, on Sunday. So it's a relentless week. We knew that before we came into it. Um, and the boys left nothing out there on the pitch tonight. I was proud of their effort. I was proud of... Um, a lot of what they did, and I'm really proud of them, uh, and, and we got to be pleased with that. But we can't allow um, restart situations, defensive situations like that, to hurt us. Because, as we've spoken about in in this in this league, there's so many fine margins that decide games. And um, I feel like on Monday at Gillingham, and um, we were starting to sort of turn those margins in our favour. But unfortunately, it, it went against us tonight. Yeah, and that disappointment about those little aspects of the game that cost us goals. Does that Paid off very quickly because there were plenty of positives or do you take both of it into realising the game and, and the build up to Sunday? Yeah, I think you have to take both um, from, you know, from the Mansfield game, the Sutton game, from, from Monday's game at Gillingham. It wasn't highs and lows off the back of the result. It was through clear eyes. That's what I think is really, really important um, to do in our roles. And tonight will be no different, um, but we've got no time to lick our wounds. We've got to pick ourselves back up. We'll go back into work tomorrow and we'll, we'll get ready for Sunday. There you go. That's Matt's thoughts from the Wimbledon game heading into this afternoon's game against Swindon. Let's get some more thoughts on that game from the dressing room itself. John, just spoken to the gaffer about fine margins. That was a game that we maybe could have won on another day. Uh, yeah, definitely. We had chances. Um, our one, the post skips one in the corner. And obviously they've scored goals that we felt like we could have um, we could have stopped. So yeah, it's disappointing to get the loss. Yeah, and, and sometimes you can concede goals where you just applaud the opposition mm. for good goals, but on tonight you probably think that you could have you could have done better with both of them. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like we're hurting in there. Like I said, it's different if they've cut us open with good play and or like a good good goal, but. Goals we feel like we could have stopped, so yeah, it, it does hurt. Yeah. Especially when there were so many positive, like you said, you're involved in the, the move that make, gets the penalty, and then uh, it's you. Were you the nominated penalty taker before the game? Uh, it didn't matter, I was taking it now. Um, yeah, I was, and um, obviously, it's good to score, but ideally, we wanted you know, feel like we deserved some points at least a point from the game, so. It's just really disappointing, hard one to swallow. Yeah, and especially given that you wanted to build on the momentum that the, the mm. win at Gillingham gave us on Boxing Day. Yeah, definitely. We came away from that game. Real, real solid performance in that game. And again, tonight, like I said, this is a team that's probably mid-table in, in and around the playoffs and we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. So it's just disappointing those fine margins to then go away today. And when does that disappointment run? come away from you because you've got to concentrate on the game because it's the third game in the space of six days. Maybe wallow tonight, um, go again, get ready for the game. We've got another game Sunday, so that starts preparing for that tomorrow. Straight away, really. But um, that's the nature of the game. The game's thick and fast and you just got to go into the next one. Get, make sure we get some points there. Yeah, and on a personal note, you're back in the side, starting games, scoring and affecting things exactly as you, you'd want to at the, mm. at the club now. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's, it's been a, a smooth 12 months for myself. So hopefully it just continues. Obviously, you want to help the team. The main point, the main uh, aim is to get three points, you know, and just help the team get that. Yeah, and the belief amongst the squad, we, we know, is is there that those three points will come when performances are, are, are as good as they have been the last couple of days. Definitely, definitely. Like I said, we showed it on Monday. Or Sunday, should I say? Oh, no, it was Monday. Um, showed it tonight in spells. Like I said, it's just keeping that concentration for the whole game. Um, we get that right and just, like I said, concentrate in all the whole 90 minutes, 90 something minutes, then I'm sure we'll start picking up points. 
The final thoughts there on the AFC Wimbledon game from the dressing room. Back to this afternoon's match and we've put together a preview of what to expect from Swindon Town. Swindon Town are coming into this game following a 2-1 victory over Northampton Town. They sit comfortably in the playoff places and will be looking to get another three points today. Tyree Shade opened the scoring with this shot that flew into the roof of the net before Marcel Lavenier doubled the Robins advantage in the 56th minute with this lovely shot. In the 90th minute, Northampton Town half the deficit, but ultimately it wasn't enough to get anything from the game. In the reverse fixture against the Ewes earlier in the season, Swindon Town came away 1-0 winners in a match that could have gone either way. Swindon had the ball in the net early on in the game, but the referee saw a foul on Tom Dallison and gave the Ewes a free kick. The only goal was scored by Tyree Shade after a lapse in concentration from the Ewes defenders saw the ball roll agonisingly into the bottom corner. That Bloomfield side will hope to improve from this result today. There we go then, pretty much all set for this afternoon's game against Swindon and hopefully we'll be getting three points on the board. Head over to the socials or our website for all the latest team news and we'll have all the reaction later. Also, tickets for Harrogate, all the details for those, they're on sale now, all the details also on the website. Enjoy the game, however, and wherever you're watching it and uh, until next time, it's goodbye for now.